All right, sorry for the little video work. We had, we had a little problem. We keep on going about Tori Smith. Yeah, I was with Tori Smith. Uh, Mr. Minute Hands, I'm, I'm not big on that. We just got rid of Tay again, Super Bus. I'm not gonna get on that. I'm, I'm gonna save that rant for later. I'm, him and his family, both of them. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh man, God. That, that got me worked up. Where was I, Tori Smith? Yeah, I'm just still getting over Tay again. He didn't run any routes at Maryland. Every, I mean, you look at the video of him, he ran stop routes, screens, and fades. Sounds familiar, right? Ohio State, you know, the guy from Ohio State did the same thing. Fast guy ran stop routes, screens, fades. I don't know. So I'm not big on him, especially at 15. Uh, I can't really think of a speedy wide receiver I would want to get right now. Mm, I like. I like the guy of Miami. What's his, what's his name? Uh, Hankerson. Hankerson. Yeah, I, I like him, but he's he's not a <laughs> he's not a big compliment to to Brandon Marshall. We need a speed compliment, but you know, I guess we could try. It, but I like I still like Brian Harline. I just think we need some better play calling, and we need to be more aggressive taking shots downfield, and we need a seam seam threat at tight end. A tight end will open up the rest of the field. Uh, I like Fasano, Anthony Fasano. He's a great blocker, he has great hands, he runs good routes, but he's not the best athlete. He's not fast, he's not gonna threaten anybody down the scene. So I would like, I like DJ Williams from Arkansas. I really like him. I know he's on the side for a tight end, but if you see what Justin Keller did to us two games this year. You see what he has done to us. Let's do that to other people. He reminds me of, DJ Williams kind of reminds me of Justin Keller. Maybe not as fast, but he's built in that same mold. The tight end from Notre Dame. Um, what's his name? Yeah. Kyle Rudolph? Is that Yeah, name? I think that's it. Uh, he, he said he's second round, so maybe yeah. able to. I don't know about it. I say we trade down, you know, I'll get that pick 15. We trade down, and we can possibly still, I doubt we can still get Ingram, but maybe if Mikel was short. But if we do trade down, with the second pick, I would probably reach on DJ Wood or, or the tight end uh, or Rudolph. Uh, linebacker, as far as pass rushing linebackers, I, that's more of a, it's not a necessity, but we could probably still use one to add some depth at, at outside linebacker. But those are our main needs, that and offensive line. I don't think that'll be as big of a problem this year as it was last year. Last year, part of the problem was was Tony Sperano. I like him as a coach. I think that I think that the organization did him wrong at the end of the season. <laughs> Boy, they was trying to get John Harbaugh. What the? Are you Jim Harbaugh? That's you know, what the matter. What Harbaugh they were trying to get? The bottom line Why, is, while Sperano was still employed. <laughs> bottom line is they were trying to get rid of him. But I, I like. Him. I think he learned from it. I think that scared him a little bit. That's gonna scare him into getting it right next year. He last year he messed up the line. He had a good line the year before, and he, he messed it up. He wanted. He felt too great because that's his specialty. His expertise is the line, and he figured he can make you know diamonds out of trash and just bring anybody in, and it didn't work. He, he's gonna get some of the right pieces, and he's gonna let them do them this upcoming year. We moved uh, incognito to center. I'm pretty sure that's gonna, we re-signed him, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the move for him next year. He'll be center instead of guard. Uh, the, the guy we had playing center last year, he was he was just too weak at the point of attack. We went against too many, three, four defenses with no tackles and he couldn't hold up. Incognito really plays with some aggression with, the, with that mean streak. He'll, he'll be able to open up the holes a little bit. Then we're gonna have an absence at left guard, but we had one player that couldn't play all of last year. He was on injured reserve, and I think he'll come back next year and be able to play guard for us. I think his believe name is Garner. And I think he can play left guard. He'll be able to pull for us because Incognito couldn't pull at, at guard like we needed him to. So that's two positions on the offensive line that will really help out. That's right there. Another spot is the right guard. Our whole interior line was just messed up. But, but, <laughs> but right guard, last year we drafted John Jerry. I think he'll be better next year. Hope so. If not, we. We still need to draft for an interior lineman anyway, just in case. But other than that, I, I think that pretty much concludes everything with Miami, except for, you know, with, with Ronnie and Ricky being gone, we can't get Mikael Shore or 
or Ingram. We still need to possibly get a, a versatile running back with some speed anyway. We need to try to open up the field a little bit more. I like Taiwan Jones. I've said it before. I'm saying it again. You, you, I'm going to burn it in until you score. You're going to learn Taiwan <laughs> Jones' name. <laughs> Another speed guy that could probably help us out with some versatility. Hmm. Um, Taiwan Jones. I'm, I'm, stuck, on, I'm stuck on Taiwan Jones. As far as versatility, I'm not sure what round we can gamble on him. Uh, third, possibly. I think yeah, third is the earliest I would probably go on him. Even though he is one of my top backs, but right now he's, he's a novelty back. <laughs> And so, what do you consider your team biggest need? Biggest need? Biggest, biggest. Oh. Running back. Running back with, with Ricky and Ronnie both possibly not returning. Uh, after them, we have Patrick Cobb. I think he's a free agent. He might not return either. And uh, Corey Sheets. We couldn't see what he what he had to offer because he was injured. We were filled with injuries last year. I'm sorry. Uh, but he, he's a speed guy. I think he can. He's like a four-three guy. But I don't know how he can actually run. He's from Purdue, I, I believe. Uh, we have sexy Lexi, Lex Hilliard. I like. I like Lex Hilliard. He's a big guy. He's not a speed guy. But I want to see. They didn't give him any carries last year. I want to see what he can do. I want to see can he actually carry the rock. But we don't know. And I know he contributes on special teams. He runs downfield. He tackles. And he can also he blocks someone in return. So I, I like him. He, we know special teams is a big part of the game. I don't know how much it'll be a part of the game next year with the changes with the league, but the biggest position need is running back, and I'm thinking Ingram. But what players do you want to release? What players can go? What players can hit the road? Can go. Oh. I'm gonna go by position so I can think of receiver. I, I think we're pretty good, of course. Uh, you know, Brandon Hartline, best are gonna stay, and then we have two young guys that show that have potential. I want them to stay around, see what they can do. Uh, Wallace, Roberto Wallace, he's 6'4", 230, uh, 4'4", I want to see what he can do. And we have another guy. I can't think of his name right now, but they say he's possibly the fastest guy on the team. I, I think we should keep them around and try to mold them a little bit. Uh, tight end. Oh, we had Scrubs behind Fasano. After Fasano, both of them can go. <laughs> they cleared it right there. There's two, there's two right there. They can go. They can get the hell out of Dodge. Uh, linebackers. Defensive line. Oh, I love all our defensive line, but they, they all can stay. I mean, shoot. Sure if I could pay you, I would. But, <laughs> but it'd be pointless because I'm broke. Uh, <laughs> We both they got two niggas to scratch together. <laughs> oh man, oh. And we already said running and Ricky they uh, yeah, they already gone there. So that's Ricky done paved his way out a long time ago. So that's four. That's two tight ends, that's two running backs. Okay, that's a fool. In the secondary, I like the secondary. I'm I'm not trying to lose anybody off the secondary really. Um That's that's about it, you know. That's, that's about it? Yep. All right, because McDaniel was already leaving. I doubt we're going to play him. Who's that? Tony. Tony McDaniel. Tony McDaniel. Tony McDaniel. Who's the defensive end? Defensive oh, end. Scrub. Aldrich will be back next year, so. And that's why he can go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Phillip Merlin was in. Phillip Merlin and Aldrich were injured. So both of them will come back, you know, and they'll take over for McDaniel. That's about it. All I have for Miami. I expect us to do big things. I'm not worried about. Oh, yeah. Re record and playoffs. Oh. Playoffs, definitely. Record. Record, I'm going. Well, I'm not so sure about playoffs. I give, <laughs> yeah. I give us ten games. I give us ten games, but we're in a very tough division, and you know, you never know how to turn out if ten games is enough. Usually, it is. Uh, well, I mean, Bills gonna spot you too, so <laughs> yeah, I expect <laughs> I expect the Bills to be too. I think we can get New England one. I think I'm not scared of the Jets. Jets don't frighten me because I mean, hey. Can't wait. You know, so can't you know, wait. <laughs> I'm all trying, talking. Okay. I'm trying to see them. You know, I, I love it. I love seeing that matchup. Okay. Well, this has been NFL Real Talk. This is how we do it. Catch you next time.